journal number two of my 100 day journey um, was finished on May 16th. I just haven't taken the time to film a flip through, so I thought I would do that today. So here we go. This is something I see every day walking to my mailbox, so I thought I would add that. Um, and then I have this, which ended up turning into a free coloring sheet for my newsletter subscribers. And for the newspaper, my coloring sheets are now um, featured in my local newspaper. My chili, dump chili recipe, church notes. I record everything. We needed a new coffee pot. We had a little five cup coffee pot and we were using it up. I was making three pots a day, so big pot it was. Made some cord cozies. Grocery store trip, which meant Hobby Lobby and Panda Express, getting, waiting to get my tire fixed. Thought I would draw a picture of my house. We live in a yurt. Tried out some paints, made birthday gifts. Finally got a hot water heater after a while. Our first outdoor church, drive-in church. Went through all my art supplies, took some to my aunt. Loved my button jar. Started a series of Polaroid paintings. Had taco bowls for Taco Tuesday, Cinco de Mayo. Got some new pans. Says, I must give myself grace. Yes, we all need to learn to do that. Tuesday, I had new art supplies. New art supplies, a new book, new paper. Got to eat at your pie with my daughter. It was a whole little retail therapy with my daughter, my oldest one. Another grocery store trip on Friday. Got me some a summer roll, which is my favorite sushi roll. That bug was very cool. I have no clue what kind of bug it was, but it was pretty interesting. Yeah. Had a Zoom meeting with our ladies. Booked a hotel room at the beach. The next day, Mother's Day, we actually went to the beach. It was fun. I added another page in my journal so I could actually journal and keep some of this stuff. So what I did was I just added it right here into this little this little tab. And so, yep, I drew this while I was at Doc Snack Shack and at Jekyll Island Club and then painted it on my notes. And this was Monday. I really wasn't feeling like drawing so anything special for this day so this is what happened I just drew things around the house that I've earned new laundry and here's dump chicken chili again it's our favorite um, super easy recipe there you go three cans of beans one can of chicken one can of diced tomatoes medium jar of salsa one tablespoon each of garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, and chili powder. Salt and pepper to taste. Top it with sour cream and cheese. Easy. Super easy. Made a huge magic cake. This was fun to paint too. My youngest daughter got her driver's license. She passed the driver's test. Yay. Here we go. date day. Me and my husband always take a day and have a date every week. At least we try. So he decided he wanted to drive and we drove. 269 mile round trip. Yeah. 
didn't take a lot of pictures, so it was our peach ice cream. This from the Little Mulgee State Park and our map. Yeah, they're fun. They're interesting to make. I do have another one. Oh, wrong one. That I started on the 17th. It is just one, two, three pages left. So that's today, tomorrow, and Friday. So today is June 3rd. So yeah, I'll flip through this one next time. But I hope you enjoyed this journal flip through. Um, I use my Art Philosophy Prima Watercolor Confections. This one has a couple of pans added to it. And I have the Complexions tin. I draw everything out in pencil first and then draw over it in fine liners and at least that's what this book was was full of these fine liners by the paper studio 0.05 and 0.5 are my favorites 0.5 for the lettering 0.05 for the drawing and I just started using these Tombow Foodinesca brush pens, and I absolutely love them. I will show that real quick. Oops. This is my first book that you can see on my previous flip through. But if you notice, this was done with the Foodinesca brush pens. I just like the way they, the difference in the line quality. It's fun. So, I'll link to the in the description box below to some of my supplies that I really love and thanks for watching.